Welcome to Get Good Golf. I am an amateur golfer here in Rochester, New York, and um, I am not a pro by any means, but I'm trying to get good at this game. Welcome to the channel. We're at the end of July right now. It is currently 53 degrees. It's six o'clock in the morning. That's kind of cold for July, um, but nonetheless, the weather's still good. There's no rain in the forecast here. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna play nine holes. I'm trying to get down to a single digit. I'm currently sitting at about a 10.6 handicap right now. I've been trending a little up actually. I was in the low like 10.1, 10.2. I'm a 10.6. I'm trying to get better. I've been practicing hard. I haven't had a chance to get out there and actually play on the course very often lately. Uh, I've been taking a lot of family trips here or there. The golf league that I play in falls on Tuesdays, which seems to fall right in the middle of the trips that we've had planned. I have another trip planned next week that I'm going to miss my golf league as well. Uh, kind of sucks, but hey, I'm going to get it in whatever way I can. So getting up bright and early here. Going to go probably play nine holes, depending on how quick the round goes. Maybe I'll play some more holes. All right, here we go. So I am not a professional golfer like a lot of these golfers you see on these YouTube channels. I am an amateur golfer. Uh, like I had mentioned before, I'm about a 10.6 handicap right now and I'm trying to get down to single digits and I'm trying to stay at single digits when I get there. I, I touched on it a little bit last season, last year, where I got down to like a 9.4 and uh, then I had a, a few bad rounds and it went back up to, you know, in the mid 10s. So I am not trying to teach anyone on YouTube or act like I'm some instructor. I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm showing my journey in golf and what I'm doing to try to improve my handicap and get better at the game. Hence the name, Get Good Golf. That, that's what I came up with because I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get good at this game. Right now, I think I'm kind of mediocre and I want to get better. So stay tuned. Let's have a lot of fun here. Okay, this is the first hole. It's a par four. Here we go. Okay, so first shot, first hole. It, it's right in the middle of the fairway. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. He's gonna hit like a three quarter eight. Okay, so that was a solid shot. Uh, let's go check it out. Look at this. Look at that. I only got about hmm, eight or nine feet here for Bert. Uh, let's sink it. Okay, this is a par five. It's not a short par five either. I'm gonna hit driver. It is in the right rough like I thought, but I'm right around the 200 yard marker. This is a par five. So I'm definitely right. going for So I see a red flag up there. So the pin is on the front. I'm 200 to the middle. Uh, I'm probably gonna hit my 190 club here. If I'm short, it's okay. You don't wanna go long on this hole at all because there's high fescue behind the green. I'm gonna probably hit a four hybrid. Okay, that was actually a pretty good strike. Uh, pushed it a little left. Might might have the front of the green, might be a little short. It's actually on the back fringe. Looks like I did land it on the green. I got a ball mark I gotta fix over there. But uh, here it is. 
it's on the back fringe which means gotta hit it well over 200 which is pretty big for my four hybrid it's not what i usually hit it at and it is wet out here got a downhill long putt That, that was good that was good okay that was a, that was a great putt we got a really good realistic chance at birdie with and that. we have this for for birdie and i am one under okay so this next hole here is a par four and i'm gonna hit a different driver i'm gonna hit a driver i got I bought it off eBay. It's a cheap driver. It's got like an offset to it. I don't hit it nearly as far as my old driver. Uh, it's one of those PGX Pine Meadow drivers, um, but I love the way it comes off the club face and I hit it pretty straight consistently. So um, I'm just kind of playing around with it. I might do a review on it actually. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a review on this, this driver I'm about to hit. So I didn't really see that one, but I definitely heard it. Heard it hit a tree. I do have a shot, believe it or not. I'm in jail here, but I got a space in between those trees. You can see the pin. Uh, I'm probably about 90 yards from the pin. Okay, that was a better shot. Okay, that was a good shot. I got a putt for par. Okay, that's a bogey. Uh, that putt was downhill, so I left it short. That's a big mistake. It's wet out here. Should have just hit it normal. But even par through three holes, I'll take it. Okay, so I left my GPS watch at home, and it's saying that from the whites it's 135, but I have a feeling that's further back in the tee box. Um, I'm gonna hit a nine iron here. Hope I got the right club. Club face was open a bit, so it went to the left, but I am putting. It should be on the left fringe. It's going to be a long putt, but hey, it's playable. It's in play. All right, not bad. I, I I wasn't on the fringe here. I'm actually on the green, and I do have a long putt. I'd be happy to two putt this. It's a it's an uphill. Looks like left to right putt. It's going to be a tough one. All right, so that, that was good speed, um, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put it left enough from what I needed to. So now I got a little work for par. Okay, this is a little tester. I don't know, it's about four feet, four feet or so. I should make these. I've been practicing these.
Okay, that that is just frustrating. This this is a this is part of my game that I, I really I really have to start working on more. I mean, I can't miss four or five footers like that for par on the course. Um, if I'm going to want to be a single digit handicap, there's no way. This is what this is what bogey golfers do. This is not what single digit handicap players do. They don't miss putts like that. So I'm now one over. That's two bogeys in a row. I gotta shake it off though, and I gotta get it back on the next hole. The next hole is a par, par five. Should be reachable in two. Okay, that was a good hit. Uh, went into the left rough, but very, very, very playable. The rough isn't that bad here. Uh, I honestly was aiming left of the fairway there because there's a lot of trouble on the right. Okay, uh, I am definitely in the left rough. God, I think I'm about 250, 260 out, maybe even more. I'm just gonna hit my three wood and see how close I can get. Okay, par five, second shot, three wood. I got a, a little grass behind the ball, so it's gonna to be tough to get good contact on the ball. Just wanna keep it in play and get up there so I can get on in regulation with my third shot. rookie mistake here. So in retrospect, I probably should have took an iron to cut through that grass a little more. That I just hit grass in it. I kind of topped it a little bit, but I advanced it. It is a par five and I think I'm around the 150 marker, maybe a little bit more. I can get on a regulation still here. All right. So again, I don't have my watch, so I don't know for sure, but there's, there's 200 marker. There's the one 50 marker uh pacing it off here god i'm probably about 190 out looks like the pins on the front i think i'm gonna hit that hybrid again i hit it pretty far last time but this is usually the right club for me here i could hit a five iron you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit a five iron. If I come up short, it's better than being long on this hole. It looks like the pin's on the front. So I'm going to hit a five iron. Okay, that was a solid shot, but I hit it way left. Gonna gonna go hit my fourth shot. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a lob wedge here. I don't have much green to work with. There's the pin. As you can see, it's right over the hump there. And that part of the green is pretty skinny. So this is where you have to minimize the damage. I have three shots already. This is my fourth shot. I gotta get it on the green. I have to be putting here. Gonna try to hit a high one over the hump. One that will have some spin, some law, and stop. Good shot, good solid contact. Went where I wanted it to, did not check up at all. Ball was wet. So it didn't have much spin on it, but I'm putting. Okay, this is for par. I'll have part two of this vlog out 
in about a week or so. Okay, bogeys on par fives are not fun. Uh, that's a little disappointing. So I'm two over now through five.